I'm Sahara Curry. I am 17. I go to Brookline High. I mainly use oil pastels and um, I print mix and I draw a lot. My name is Zach. I'm 18. I go to Brookline High School. I'm a musician. I play the saxophone. I make beats and I do a little rap. My name is Dean Klein. <laughs> I'm 18 years old and um, I do a lot of different types of art, but my um, biggest passion is theater or drama. Hi, my name is Helen. I'm 17. And, and as for like the medium I work with, I would say sewing and like working with fabrics and like upcycling, but I also really like mixed media. I really definitely am very much into like sketching and, and painting. Um, I like doing that a lot. Sometimes I like try to dabble in some sculpting, but it usually doesn't really work out. <laughs> In the beginning, there was lack of inspiration, I guess. Mainly creative blocks, just because like everything in the world was going so downhill and so horrible. So it was definitely hard to like focus on that and like have a healthy outlet in a way, because art was normally my outlet before. Being inside all day, it doesn't it doesn't really foster the creative energy to actually be consistently working on things. Like whenever I would start going back out and stuff like that, I would find myself doing a lot more work. I mean, theater is primarily um, something that you can only really do with other people. And it's t usually takes place in a very like specified space. Basically none of that lends itself to like the isolation we've been in lately. I really like to get dressed up and have fun with what I wear and that's where I get a lot of my confidence from. Like that's what gets me motivated to like go out and interact with people. And dressing up is also where I get most of my inspiration from. But just like with playing with colors and like putting certain things together and so that made me, that put me in kind of a slump for a little bit. It made me like really like mentally sad and insecure. I think young artists and older artists that are more professional developed there's differences between how COVID has affected them, but there's also a lot of similarities. Like we all have just gone through this whole year with no performances or art shows or, or like really any uh, place to collaborate and share creative ideas. As a kid, like in high school, it's mostly just impacted like the like extracurricularness of it where like you don't really get to see people and we have a ton of traditions that come with our shows that we sort of have to miss out on. But I mean, as a younger artist, I don't have to worry if what I'm making is going to be good enough to help me make a living. It's just me sort of like working and figuring things out and practice. The pressure being taken off of that, I'm still allowed to like explore and really like figure out what I'm good at and like uh, figure out how to like upgrade my skills. Um, so like I normally like to have a bunch of people over to my house or over in a studio and just work, you know, bounce ideas off of each other and stuff like that. And now I'm just hanging out in my basement, making beats and like just sending it to people. So it, it doesn't have that same, uh, that same personality that it did um, before. You know, I mean, I guess in a way it makes it easier because you can, you know, work with people all over the place but it's not as fun we started doing zoom shows usually when you're performing on a stage when you do something funny the audience laughs when something really suspenseful happens there's like a silence that you can feel in the room and you can sort of like play off of that and gain energy from the audience and the audience gains energy from you. And it's this really beautiful exchange that happened. And when you don't get that energy, it's just sort of this like awkward deadness. And you also like don't know if the audience is even watching or if they're in the other room or they're cooking dinner or they're on their phone. 
And then also just the community. Like my favorite thing about the art is being together and making something together in a room together and like the playing of it. And now it's sort of like all the art and all the work you're doing is alone in your room. It's just harder to get out of your comfort zone when you can hide behind your screen. Is I can't do shows, which definitely sucks. Um, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get back in the performing shape just for a minute. Social media helps a lot. If there's no in-person shows or anything happening, you can like post something on social media. You know, like schedule a release on DistroKid, get on TikTok, you know, promote it a little bit. I thought it was just so loving and it just made me happy after like not being on a social media for a while to realize like all just the wonderful people in my life that like I had surrounded myself with kind of getting back into that like platform a little bit and being like oh wait like I do have friends and like people do like me like it's not totally bizarre and like they're actually kind of into what I have to make and like oh my gosh look at all the cool stuff everyone else is making and sort of drawing all this inspiration from that. Honestly the other kids who act and do theater um we're all like holding each other up because um we all sort of have to figure out how to do things differently together everyone's like collaborating in a very cool way um when thrown such a challenge society has sort of come out of the like strict strict like quarantine there's definitely been more room to like you know, bounce ideas off of each other and like talk to each other and like do things in person more and that feels like really nice to like have other creative people around me. And um, I think that was something that I really missed for a long time that I didn't know I needed so much. There's definitely been times in this past year where I've just not felt the motivation to really work on anything new or really do anything creative for that matter. Um, but then you, I, I go and I think about like the people that have been supporting me and the people that are continuing to support me and like, oh, I should probably, I should probably work on something. And you know, it like, gets me inspired again, gets the juices flowing again. Um, so I think it's it's very important to uh, support all the artists around you, especially right now. I still feel the love for the music and the passion to keep on moving forward. And that's definitely come from the support that I've been given. The art community is also just like so strong that I think that it'll continue to like, uh, I guess, thrive. There was like a shift in the way I view the world. And I think that also like changed how some of my art came out. And I think definitely art is a very, it's a very like healing thing. Before the pandemic, I cared a lot about what the reaction to my music would be and like what people were gonna think about it. It's just like, it, it really doesn't matter. As long as, long as I'm enjoying what I'm doing and uh, making something that's true to myself and I, I really like put a, a bunch of passion behind, it's really all that matters.